Welcome to sneak peek number two of the Clash of Clans update. Today we are discussing clan improvements, plenty of things to discuss and go over with you. If you missed sneak peek number one, I link it in the top right of the video now. Let me know if you're excited about this update. Leave a like on the video if you are. And guys, this is only day two of the update sneak peeks. Make sure to subscribe to the channel in order to stay up to date with each and every one of these update videos. So this is the developer build, guys. It's how we're able to show you gameplay of the brand new updates. But what is coming exactly? Well, today it's all about clan improvements. Look at that beautiful shield. From now on, the, there are some visual changes to the shield, so you still get to customize things. And again, this is the developer build, guys. This is how we're able to display this. But just check out some of these shields. As you upgrade through the levels, you can see it almost mimics the leagues themselves. Once you get to clan level 20, you get that awesome legendary shield behind through the higher teens there, you have the Titan League shield, the Champions League, then you move down to Masters and Crystal, the Gold League, and it's just a nice little feature, makes the shields look so much more effective, especially as you get higher up and you have that burning flame behind it. It just looks pretty cool, and a nice little way that you can strive in order to showcase what your clan has done in war now what is this over here well this is your clan banner that you get to display and this is where the cc troops will come in when they get don donated by your clan so it's pretty cool you get to show off your clan a little bit more but there is lots more guys and this is very very exciting again I'm going to try and explain it as best we can in this video. If you missed all of the stuff about sneak peek number one, we had the bomb tower to level six, the air sweeper to level seven, golems to level seven, and the valkyries to level six, as well as them extra walls. So plenty of upgrades. Again, guys, if we go back into the clan here, let's just explain. You can now set builder base requirements in terms of trophies. So you can see required trophies so that when someone's searching for your clan they don't just have to have a required home village trophy count they actually need to hit a certain builder base trophy count in order to request into your clan as well so a nice little way that you can optimize your clan recommendations will be helpful as well now what's this little icon here this shows that you are actually friends with this other account and it's pretty cool guys just before we explain this let me just say that in war the friendly war sizes you can now have 35 v 35 and 45 v 45 so just giving us a little bit extra variety there as well and the spectator slots have been increased guys so any of you guys that are heavy into these competitions cwl things like that there's always a mass of people trying to get into them spectator slots we've upgraded to 30 spectator slots and 10 as a friend list spectator slot. Now we're going to get onto that in just a second here, guys. So as you can see, if we move across to social here, this is my friend list. Now at the minute, you can see, actually, if we move into the clan, you can actually see how many people are online and you can see it just flicked to two people online. That's because one of the people in my clan is indeed on my friend list. And as we move across, you can now see that they are online. Now, what is very cool, guys, is you can jump into watching them do an attack. So if we click watch here, player is not currently in a battle. Now, again, this is the developer build, so we're just gonna fly into any attack here. But if they're in an attack on the main base, builder base, war, anything like that, as long as they are attacking, you can see we can now watch their attacks. Did you see that, guys? You can fly into any one of their attacks, whether it's home base, builder base, war. You can go ahead and watch your friends play in that friend list. So it tells you, look, you can see the shield with the icon there, and you can go ahead and dive into their matches. Again, you don't have to be in their clan. It, it can be home village, it can be war, it can be builder base, anything. You can jump on and see how your friends are attacking, and I, for one, think that is such a cool feature. I cannot wait to test that out and just dive into kind of spying on some of my friends and their war attacks. Let me know what you think down in the comments section but I think that is pretty awesome. And guys, that is pretty much it. I've tried to, again, keep it nice and condensed for you, but 
cut straight to the point in terms of what you're getting here at sneak peek number two. Again, if you missed and you want to see gameplay of the other buildings upgraded and the troops, make sure to check out my other videos and subscribe because I will bring you lots more gameplay again this is the developer build, the update. We have a few more sneak peeks for you guys before it will be rolling out. But that wraps it up for this one. I've been your host, Judo Sloth. And until next time, peace out, guys.